So today I found myself back up in the air, this time travelling from London Luton Airport to Edinburgh. The purpose of my journey was to visit Contract Solutions, one of Scotland's largest subcontract manufacturing businesses. In fact, I was here just a few years ago talking to the owner, Rab, about his investment in Matsura's MX520 machine tools. Now I'm back again, this time more investment, but a slightly different technology this time. In fact, the MAM 7235V was installed just a few months ago. So let's get back to this business and find out why he invested in this machine and what it's done for the company. Rap, great to be back here in Scotland. My first stop today is Contract Solutions. Now, we've been here before. Yep. This wasn't here. Why is it here now, this man? Uh, we just felt we needed another, we needed, the production was going so, we were expanding so fast that we needed to have another machine. Um, that's an old one, that's the machine down there is exactly the same, but this is newer, it's faster, um, and the amount of stuff we were getting thrown at us, we just needed to up our game. As a story, what I'm interested in here today and for our audience is some of the differences between the Matsura products that you have. Now let's take this for example, the MAM 7235V, a pallet machine, fully integrated, compared to your 520s being fed by uh, automation solutions external to the machine. Where's the, where's the, what's the job, the ideal job for either or and what's the differences? We really, this machine can do five or six jobs at the same time. There's plenty of tool storage in the back of it. You can put different jobs on it. You can have so many pallets on each job. But as that one down there, you can, it has to be one job that's on it. The Heller Skirtle will take 60 pallets, so we can leave that running all weekend, but it has to run on the same job. But as this is more versatile than that. So, so why did you go for the 520s before instead of the MAMs at that stage then? Would, would these not have been a better fit for you at the start, maybe? Probably. We, we went, the first one we saw, the MAM, the first 520 we saw, we bought that. Um, one, is half the price of this. Again, we're talking half a million quid here. These things, are, they're 200 and odd thousand. So we started that way and we, we found that was so successful that we added to it and added to it. Now we have five of these machines down there. Um, so that's, that's in, its, in its own way, that is very successful and doing what... Then we went to this because just versatility, really. And we're looking for, obviously, we like everyone else in the industry, staff is a big problem. The more pallet machines we have and the more uh, robotic machines we have, the less staff we have. That's how we went down that road. I think a lot of um, our viewers, uh, and in fact probably a high proportion of them, will have uh, three axis machining centres in their machine shop. They'll know how much they cost and they'll be thinking, well, you know, Rab's just said we're talking about a half a million pound investment here. You know, how can I be assured that I'm going to get a return out of going down this path? Where are the advantages to you in this style of solution as opposed to what's happening just over there, a three axis machine with a guy using an airline and setting apart? Maybe I just said yeah, it. Yeah, I think that's the difference. The difference is this thing, once it's set up, you could set, a setter could set this, six different jobs on it, load the pallets as they have to be loaded and leave it running. Then he's just got to check it and that, it'll run and run and run. As long as you keep loading the pallets, it'll run. Whereas this, the guy has to be there. If that job takes 15 minutes to do, he's got to be there every 15 minutes. And um, if he goes away for his lunch, there's nobody there. He's to get someone else to do it for him. That's the beauty of it. That's, that's, that's where that, although, this thing over here would cost 130, 140,000. This is half a million pounds. Eventually, this will be a much, much more cost-effective machine than that. It's always great to hear from the owners of the company about the impact a machine tool can have on the business. But what about those that are hands-on? I spoke with Duncan, the operator. Duncan, talking to Rab about this new MAM machine, it's evident that he's over the moon with his investment, uh, what the machine's doing for him, but what about from your perspective, hands-on, setting it, programming it, 
making sure, having the responsibility to make sure that the parts come out correctly, how is it to handle? It's good, it's very, very good. It's a class above what we've got just now. It's very, very easy to use, it's very fast, and just on both the stations that you're actually working at, it's just, it's an extremely good machine. Is it a pleasure to be part of this company being operating technology like this? Yes, definitely. A lot of space in here and um, you've got you've got a big unit do you expect to have more of these machines going forward do you think that this is you, you've kind of found found the right the right product for your manufacturing processes if things come right in the next uh, month or so we will be buying another one of these and it'll be going in there these machines are going to get moved through the other factory and there'll be another one if i had my way there'd be two of these in here